question number six discuss the levels of professionalism from yourself and the group how suitable is the work at this stage for a public audience um the professionalism in the group this week has improved a lot i think everybody is really pulled together to try and get this show ready for everyone to watch um when it came to running through um the entire thing on thursday everybody was a lot more um aware and ready everybody was behaving quite professionally um however there were still moments where um professionalism slipped a little bit um and that was shown in the fact that some people um were still struggling with lines some people still didn't know the lines very well um whether that was due to nerves or um not having learnt them well enough um it definitely um isn't ready at the moment for a public audience um i think my professionalism has been quite good recently um i know all my lines i have taken a few prompts but i don't take my script on stage or anything um if i ever forget my lines it's down to nerves or um the fact that i've not recognized my cue or something so i am working very hard on that to try and improve it um i think um the song um of one plate more um could have been more professional from from the entire group including myself because the um when when it started to slip a bit it all descended into chaos a little bit and um we really need to pull that together um so i think we need some more practice on this um, because most people do know it really well and we are taking direction quite well um we just need to up our focus and make sure we um, remain focused throughout our, our entire rehearsal to improve our professionalism question number seven what do you personally need to improve on um personally i need to um, keep my energy up constantly my energy needs to be ridiculously high because that is um it suits um idol jack's character um and it's really important for idol jack to bring a lot of energy to the piece um that's essentially his role as a character is to keep the energy up um so that's really important um i also need to um make sure i don't i keep fluid with my lines and i don't stumble across them um, at some point this week I have been forgetting to add in the wicked at the end of my entrance um, catchphrase as such um, and um, I really need to not do that in the final performance because it's sort of Jack's signature um, so I need to improve on that which I think will just come with more and more practice at home and uh, more rehearsals so I get used to doing it and um, to always keep it in mind um remain really focused um yeah i also need to seem a little bit more relaxed um sometimes when i'm moving on stage i look like i'm nervous or somewhat aware that i'm i might be in the wrong place maybe if i've forgotten my movement so i need to improve on my movement and rehearse that more at home Question number eight, discuss how your character has developed. Um, I don't think Jack has developed too much over the last week or so, but um, I think it has progressed somewhat. Um, he's not just um, he's not just silly all the time, and his um, for example, his um, his jealousy of Dick is becoming more prominent. Um, because in one rehearsal, I forgot to. I forgot to make Jack mimic Dick childishly. Um, so in the next ones, I purposely um, made it as big as possible. So when Dick leaves with Tommy to go and get the rats in scene one um, and says, come on, Tommy. Um, Jack mimics him really childishly and goes, all right, come on, Tommy. And it really had a really good comedic effect. So I thought that worked quite well. Um, it just shows how 
how playful he is, how sort of childish and innocent his character is because he responds to certain things as maybe a child would. So I think that has developed a little bit. Um, I also think that um, some of the justice that Jack uses has been improved a lot. Um, he's started using them more frequently. Um, he has a few. Um, he'll either turn to the front of the audience and give a big thumbs up. That's something quite that I've developed for Jack that um, he's used quite a lot. Um, or he has like a ridiculously silly grin on his face. Um, he does something where he puts his arm up and brings it down in celebration like that. Um, the justice he uses when he says wicked at the end of his entrance speeches and things like that um, are all things that I've developed for Jack's character. And it just it helps keep the pace up and the energy of um, the piece because it's very physical and um, I think it works really well. Question number nine, what performance techniques have you used during the rehearsal progress and what was the result of this? Um, I've used a range of techniques actually, um, obviously things like projection, um, which I'm working on a lot to, um, to make sure everybody can definitely hear everything clearly that I'm saying, um, which I think has been working quite well. Um, um, he, I use inflection as well a lot to show um, the meaning behind lines that I'm saying. Um, such as when um, Dick is first introduced and introduces Tommy as a great rat catcher. Jack tries to undermine him and um, he uses inflection um, on the line to say... Um, Maybe Tommy could catch our rat if he's such a great rat catcher, which also uses um, um, emphasis on particular words to um, make it clear um, what he means. So um, I think that has the effect of making the character's objectives a lot clearer. Um, same for emotional tone as well, because um, he uses that a lot um especially um for comedic effect as well um like when he's sad that alice doesn't want to talk to him and his voice goes all sad and slow and he's like bye alice and it usually gets a strong reaction from the audience so that's a really good result there um he also gets it for comedy as well in scene three where he's tragically devastated that the sausage has died um in the cooking scene and he starts crying about this sausage and um it has a really good effect comedically and the audience usually react with quite a good laugh so that has a really good result um speaking of comedy he uses a lot of comedy timing um um, pausing especially in the middle of his jokes to make them so blatantly obvious what they are um, such as in scene three where he says I think I've just found out what they call sausages bangers and he has a big pause in the middle to show specifically what the joke is supposed to mean um, which is all just really corny and it really suits the it really suits the genre of the piece really well um, so that has um, quite a good effect um, um, also, um, I've been using use of tension, a lot of physical tension, um, like when he has to carry on a bucket of water that's supposed to be full of water, but in reality it is just a prop and it is empty. So to make it look like it's full, um, I use physical tension to make it seem like it's really, really heavy and tense all my body as if I'm carrying something that's, um, full of a lot of heavy water um, and um, that has the result of um, that has the result of making it all look more realistic so I think that works quite well um, I also use eye contact quite heavily um, as Jack because he's a really friendly approachable character so he makes a lot of eye contact with the audience all the time when he's interacting with the audience 
and um, a lot of eye contact with other characters. Whenever he's being spoken to or speaking to somebody else, he makes decent eye contact. Or when he is reacting to something and looks at someone and they look at him, they make eye contact then as well. Um, which I think has the result of helping show what his interpersonal relationships are like um, with other characters. So I think that works quite well. Question 10. Discuss your action plan for next week. Um, for next week I want to be completely fluid with all my lines and every scene that I'm in. So I am going to rehearse at home as much as possible. Um, every night I'm aiming to do at least um, 45 minutes of going through my lines and rehearsing. Um, I'd also like to go through my movements um, at home as much as possible to try and make sure that they are as fluid as they can be by the time it gets to performance day. Um, I'm going to do that by um, taking an extra 15 minutes of my rehearsal at home to get up um, whether it just be in the living room or somewhere where I've got some space to actually physically stand up and move about um, practicing my movements physically so I know where and where I should and shouldn't be at all times. Um, I'd also like to um, practice um, all my gestures to make sure that I know when I'm using them. I want to go through my script to um, assess the objectives my character has at each unit of a scene and I think that will really help me um, improve my portrayal of Idle Jack's character. I think um, it'll make it a lot more clear to the audience what the objectives are if I am um, very, very sure of what I want to show his objectives as. So um, I'll be making notes of those in my script so that I can um, look on them when I'm not sure and that should help me improve for next week. <laughs>